thing out of here. And then the loon calls faded into wolf calls. Oh, yeah. No steel cutouts. Game changer. I'm gonna need another bite. It's a nice sunshine day. I'm actually not wearing any shirts underneath because I'm really cold. What are you doing? I don't know. Well, it's gonna get we're gonna get blasted. I know it. There's All right. Well, then you gotta suck it up for now. You do. <laughs> Which ones are my frog tongs? No, the ones with medium. Uh, <laughs> I thought maybe you already looked at that. Maybe that's the mine. Can you hand me the one with the horse? The one that say large. Yeah. <laughs> Frog togs, <coughs> you've done me with. What would we have done without our frog togs? Been really wet. I think it would have been okay. My butt would have been cold. So, yeah. yeah, and you know a cold Aaron is not a happy Ooh. That's the worst one. That's been the worst one today. Today is the worst one. Also, it's not as bad though as last night. Jumping in that freaking water. What was going through your head? At first, I was like, oh, we're so stupid. But then once we're up there for a while, it's like, okay, it's not going I know. And right when you get out, you have immediate relief. All right, so I heard we're going to see some moose today. Yeah. We're not getting our hopes up? We're not getting our hopes up. Oh, that's Do they help you with the they cool help factor? With all kinds of things, mainly fashion. <laughs> Time to hit the road. You ever heard of blasting? First portage of the day, just made it to Jordan Lake. Seven more to go. Why are you so sad? Beaver. <gasps> that is a beaver. Oh, hell yeah. Nice spot. I thought you were trying to say this is beaver. <laughs> seeing you. You were holding it? And you go, beaver. You should see what happens when I can see a moose. Oh my god, I'm, I don't get naked. <laughs> okay, now we're going to talk logistics. Started there. At Ema Lake, that's where we camped last night. Paddled across, went up here, portage to Jordan Lake. And now we just did this portage to Caddy Man. Now we're right there at the 8 Rob Portage. We're gonna go to Adventure Lake. We are. Then we're gonna go to Jitterbug. 
Then we're gonna go to Ashub. I was picturing we're going to Boot Lake. Yeah. Then Disappointment, then Parent, then... Snowbank. Snowbank. Okay, and now we have to show them Kevin has a basket portage right now. Okay, so on shorter portages, instead of making Ben pick up the canoe and then we unload everything, what we'll do is just take our packs, put them on, and then we carry Kevin fast and stuff. This is Kevin in basket mode. Kevin has a basket. This is an eight rod portage. Aaron says they're definitely not measuring the portages in our rods, which is true. One rod is 16 and a half feet, according to the map. Let's see, we're already done. Why are you sad, Aaron? Well, where did we even start, Ben? It's just a different vibe today because it's not like we're out here and we're camping and we have all these possibilities. It feels like we're just like headed home. It's exciting because we get to eat good food and chips and like whatever, but it's just so relaxing and nice to be out here and I don't really want to head to the exit. And look at this. This is you after six days. I know. Can you believe it? Is it just because we can't do it? That's why I'm saying this? Oh, I don't know. Maybe a little bit, but last night, last evening was so fun. Like, I need three more of those days. All right, cut. <laughs> so this one's 40 rods. It's a medium one. At day one, we had a zillion packages. So we'd have to go back, forth, back, forth and take two trips, but now that we've lightened the load, I can get all these bags. Ben has my backpack, and then he grabs the canoe. Show him what's good. We're out here on Disappointment Lake, being disappointed. Last portage. And there's motors on snowbanks, so that's officially... Okay, let's go. Last paddle with K-Dog, Kevin the man. A wonderful man. His son, grandson perhaps, or his daughter. Great niece, anything. souvenir and guess what happened here we got a leech on the loose somewhere do you want to know how grossed out i was when i saw that i was stunned to silence and you know if i'm silent yeah i just said ben look <laughs> okay i hit it off though so look and i made sure it will never leech again <laughs> okay guys we are officially in civilization that's Voyagers, that's why we're gonna return our GPS and shower. But first, we need to go get Kevin oh, back. Kevin, what a guy. That's farther down the road. This is Ely, Minnesota. Love Kevin. you, Kevin. Look, he's right there. Bye, Kevin, we're gonna miss you. Oh, he waved to us. I waved. Oh, okay, good. Let it begin. <laughs> Two muffins. Got all the memorabilia. Two hats. Ben got a cool moose shirt made out of maps. And the I... shirt is made of maps. And mine has Bigfoot on it. Oh. We got the good room to shower. And check that out. It has a mirror. I haven't looked at myself in the mirror in a really long time. Oh, wow. I'm dirty. We're looking for a good place to celebrate. We were feeling really sad, and then we were like, you know what? We're still on vacation, and we can be sad that it's coming to an end, or we could just finish it off with a bang and be happy that it even happened. I even put on jeans. It's gonna be fun. Yeah. Yeah, celebrate. It's Saturday night, baby. We're gonna party! Capone's Pone Pizza in Finland, Minnesota. 
We're here to celebrate. Where the celebration is. Oh, the celebration is begun. I think it was a mistake. I mean, it wasn't a good idea to both eat large pizzas. We said we'll save some for tomorrow. Well, we both knew that wasn't gonna happen. I kind of thought. It was Me too. Happen. This looks so sad, but it it's is, actually cozy in here. Sad. Tell them what you found in your bag. Oh, I was going through our clothes from the trip, and I found a huge spider the size of a silver dollar. So Ben killed it by accident. He tried to set it free. Turns out I'm terrified that everything's covered in bugs. Cozy. The best cushion we've had in a week. Easily. <laughs> We woke up in the state park parking lot. We're going down to Coastal Lakes, apparently. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Looking um, for some smoked fish. Yeah, we have a 20 hour drive today. We need smoked fish. We need coffee. We need good views, maybe some drone flies. Say so I'm getting married on a porch in a we always use this book when we're going on a road trip. The Bible out. Right now we're on the North Shore Drive. She says, who wore better? We got Aaron, Lighthouse. You gotta have the beam coming out your head. There you go. Oh. What do we call them? Then? Kelvin Helmholtz instability. It's a shear driven instability. So it happens when Tell us. two fluids, different velocities, are going past each other. That simple. So, Luke, you looking like a smash. I think it's like around here somewhere. Maybe turn it off. Amazing Grace breakfast! Yay! They have like breakfast sandwiches too, then. Okay, we just went to get breakfast at that place and it was the cutest place ever. Duluth Rock. Yeah, Duluth is really cool, guys. It was a bakery, so we ha we were obligated to get bread, a banana chocolate muffin. I got a breakfast sandwich with tempeh and fruit that I'm not allergic to. And Ben got a one with ham. We're and really fruit excited. That I'm not to. Continue drowning sorrows. Oh, I didn't even get one video of that place. We got a bag full of salmon, and it was a wild rice specialty place, so we got some wild rice. She gave us a good sales pitch. We're thinking maybe we could have the smoked salmon and bread for a lunch. Ring a ding ding ding! Ring a ding ding ding! We got fish, yeah! Wait, what was my car? So Ben threw a tantrum that we were about to turn off of Lake Superior and continue on our journey. We didn't get to say proper. So I said, let's turn off this random dirt road and go back to the coast to say a proper goodbye. So that's what we're doing. It's very fun. Spontaneous girl. Fairly well. That's a good lake. Really great lake. Biggest in the world. Yeah, 35,000 square miles. I think. I think I read that. Back to the ATL. Only minor detours from now on, okay? No major. Fish. Something's fishy around here. And in Wisconsin. We just tore that cheese store up. These are our dips. Smoky onion mustard, roasted garlic pork radish. This is Asia Asiano. We got pretzels to dip. It's about to be a good time. And right now we're in Illinois. You know, it's 4 a.m. It's 5 a.m. 